Hey guys, Courtney Despis, Director of Education at Trout's Fly Fishing. In this installment of Trout's Tips, we're going to do the non-slip loop knot. This knot's specifically used to attach a fly to tip it, and it specifically is aiming to put more natural movement in the fly, so I often use this when I'm streamer fishing to connect my streamers onto my rig. As we move through our non-slip loop knot, I have two items in my hands. In my left hand, I have turquoise paracord that's gonna represent the end of our leader or our tippet. And in our right hand, I have a lock. The top of this lock is gonna represent the eye of our hook on our fly. What we're gonna do first is we're gonna take our tippet or leader material and we're gonna put an overhand loop in it. When you do this, make sure that you not only leave a decent sized loop, but you also leave yourself with a decent amount of tag end as this is the portion you're gonna to use to wrap and tie your knot. Your tag end's gonna go through the eye of the hook and fold back on itself, similar to the clinch knot. However, what you're gonna do is this tag end's gonna feed through your loop opening, and then you're gonna make your wraps above this loop opening. When I'm using a leader or tippet material, I'm typically wrapping three to four times. With the paracord, I'm gonna wrap twice, just based on the diameter of the material. Once I wrap my tag end around, I'm gonna take my tag end and I'm actually gonna come back through that loop opening towards the fly. Now that I have that tag end back through, I'm gonna hold it against my fly and I'm gonna set my loop. Always remember prior to setting with any material to lubricate. As you can see, I now have a tag end that I'm gonna trim up right next, close to tight to the knot itself. And now I have a loop above the um, eye of my fly. This loop allows that fly to move more naturally through the water versus having a tightened knot down to the eye of the fly. Thanks for joining us for this installment of Trout's Tips. For additional parts of this series, visit our Trout's YouTube channel and don't forget to like and subscribe.